The more deeply a thought or action is tied to your identity, the more difficult it is to change it. It can feel comfortable to believe what your culture believes, group identity, or to do what upholds your self-image, personal identity, even if it's wrong. The biggest barrier to positive change at any level, individual team society, is identity conflict. Good habits can make sense, but if they conflict with your identity, you will fail to put them into action. On any given day, you may struggle with your habits because you're too busy or too tired or too overwhelmed or hundreds of other reasons. Over the long run, however, the real reason you fail to stick with habits is that your self-image gets in the way. This is why you can't get too attached to one version of your identity. Progress requires unlearning. Becoming the best version of yourself requires you to continuously edit your beliefs and to upgrade and expand your identity. This brings us to an important question. If your beliefs and worldview play such an important role in your behavior, where do they come from in the first place? How exactly is your identity formed and how can you emphasize new aspects of your identity that serve you and gradually erase the pieces that hinder you